<laughs> Hold on to your tentacles. Things are about to get strange. Long, long ago, the Shalkax dedicated their lives to understanding the secrets of the universe. Having mastered both steam technology and magic, they were free to indulge in their studies without distraction. But they were still mortal, and this limited the knowledge any individual could gain in one lifetime. An unacceptable obstruction. The young scholar Zezha researched ways around this inconvenience. After years of experimentation, she made contact with a cosmic being that offered to unite the minds of all Shalkax, combining their intelligence and letting them focus on new discoveries. She shared her findings, and the offer, with the Shalkax Council, who eventually agreed to the bargain's beneficial nature and asked her to seal the deal. When she did, a terrible mist covered their world, transforming her people into undead monstrosities the first members of the Abyssal Covenant. True to its word, the otherworldly being Vigar had united them under a singular will, its own. The Covenant's mission remained the same, but their means changed drastically. To further expand their intellect, they now traveled to other dimensions, converting any life they found into new members. Zesha, maintaining a shred of her own will, would still attempt to recruit targets willingly, if possible. During the invasion of Neorshan, the Covenant found both a great asset and a worthy enemy, as its people had developed technology beyond even that of the old Shalkex, despite considering magic taboo. Their scholars were quick to decline Zesha's offer of joining. However, one of the military leaders, a man named Galkar, secretly agreed for the promise of greater conquest. He assisted the Covenant at striking the Orshan's defenses where they were weakest, but did not anticipate Docio, a maid shunned by society, to jump to their victim's aid. While the invaders did eventually succeed, Docio's magic saved many from being assimilated. Dozens of planes have been consumed by the Abyssal Covenant and made into Vigar's thralls. Many fell without much of a fight, some, like the ambitious Lucius and the other Colossi, won many battles, but ultimately lost the war. And worse, a scant few gave themselves consensually. Vigar and their minions now have eyes on our home, and with hive-minded dedication and mastery of abyssal powers, this may be the greatest threat the Order of Rage has ever known. <laughs> <laughs>